It has been a long time since the Georgia baseball team has advanced out of the regionals. 16 years to be exact back in 2008. That was a very special year for the dogs. They advanced to the College World Series, even beating Georgia Tech along the way in those regionals. Feels a bit like deja vu, doesn't it? One of the things I love about you know postseason baseball is when you're at home, it, things are just different. It's another league weekend is the way we, we're, we're looking at it. Uh, UNC Wilmington, extremely, extremely offensive with two really good starters. And then Georgia Tech, you know, we, we played them already. They're another team that's really, really offensive. The dogs are staying put in Athens after a successful 39 and 14 season. On the docket awaits Army. And after that, possibly Georgia Tech. Obviously, the rivalry's there. I mean, I, I'm, I'd be naive not to say that it, we don't know that. I would fully expect that there'll probably be a lot of red and black rooting against us <laughs> on uh, Friday night. And it would probably be the same if we were hosting and they had to come here. So that's what makes the rivalry great. Georgia and Georgia Tech are not looking too far ahead yet. The nation's best baseball player, Charlie Condon, agrees. Just, you know, with atmosphere and, you know, with, with so many fans from, from both fan bases in this area and probably making the trip over. But um, kind of like you said, you know, our, our, our priority is Army um, just because, you know, in postseason baseball, you can't take anybody lightly. Um, we're going to give everybody our, our best punch because we're expecting for them to do the same to us. Now, head coach Wes Johnson is, of course, very familiar with winning. He has a ring on his finger from coaching last year at LSU. He's got the best record ever for a first year head coach at the University of Georgia. He says to get that ring, it all starts first right here in regionals. From Athens, Miles Garrett, Fox 5 Sports.